in continuation of the topic where we determine the supply curve for the industry in the short run from the individual supply curves of the firms, we will now study firstly elasticity of market supply. See, unfortunately finding the industry supply is not always as simple as was there in this diagram that you simply add the quantities horizontally with respect to the prices. Sometimes these quantities are going to alter uh, sorry are going to change or will be altered in response to the price changes so basically i'm referring to the section wherein i taught you how the changes in prices of a commodities further lead to changes in the inputs which go into their production and those have an after effect on their prices again let's look at the example example increasing input prices uh, example increased demand for milk could also increase demand for cow feed cow feed as an input uh, which is used to feed cattle and thereby cause its prices to rise in turn higher input prices will cause the firm's marginal cost curves to shift upward as we saw here so in this section wherein we saw that marginal cost curve shifts upward from mc1 to mc2 in response to the price increases of the goods because as price has risen, like example milk, the price of inputs has also risen, that is cow feed. And that has led to MC curve shifting upwards. And because of this, the quantity which now the firm will be producing is reduced to Q2. That means in response to price changes, input prices change and then quantity also changes. So this increase lowers each firm's output choice and causes the industry supply curve to be less responsive to changes in output price than it would otherwise be. So basically they are saying that, come at this diagram again. So if the quantities are going to be reduced further, what will happen? Let's say price moves from P2 to P3 and instead of quantity moving from now P2 to 4, it moves to say this point. And likewise, here also it moves to say a lower point. And for the last curve as well, it moves to say this point. Now these quantities being obviously lower than the earlier of 4, 7 and 10 when added at a price of P3 will have some quantity over here for the market. So will I not have my market supply curve like this? That means in response to price changes, the quantity response had been reduced and that has resulted in a steeper market supply curve. The steeper market supply curve has repercussions. What does it imply? This implies that whenever the price is changing, quantity response is weaker. That means this is less elastic. So this brings to the home the point of discussion today, elasticity of market supply. So we clearly saw that increasing input prices shift a firm's marginal cost upward and those result in lower quantities and these reduced quantities can make your market supply curve less responsive. So let's consider elasticity in general. We all know the elasticity formula is percentage change in quantity due to 1% change in price. And I need not elaborate on this because we have already studied this in consumer equilibrium as well or the consumer theory. So the formula is delta Q upon Q in, in numerator and then in denominator you have delta P upon P. So that was about my price elasticity of supply in the market formula which tells you the sensitivity of quantity to prices all right so um, after that this is actually uh, given two cases which i have made separately for, for you so one case is of a steeply rising marginal cost curve so basically when your firms have steep marginal cost curves so what will happen to the market supply then and when the firms will have slowly rising market supply uh, ma marginal cost curves then what will happen to the market supply so clearly steep marginal cost curves or steep individual firm supply curves are going to result into a steep market supply curve as you can see over here at p1 price the quantity is 
टू फॉर फॉर्म वन एंड फाइव फॉर फॉर्म टू इफ यू एड बोथ ऑफ दीज दैट मीन्स एट पी वन प्राइस यू हैव सेवन यूनिट्स टू बी सप्लाइड इन द मार्केट लाइक वाइज वेन प्राइस इंक्रीजेस एंड एज आई सेट दैट इनपुट प्राइस इज माई चेंज एंड दोज रिजल्ट इन दी क्वान्टिटी रिस्पॉन्स रिड्यूस्ड क्वान्टिटी दैट मीन्स माई क्वान्टिटी वुड नाउ इंक्रीज टू थ्री and in case of form 2 it will increase to 6 3 plus 6 gives me 9 so at a price of p2 in the market i have 9 units that means my supply curve would look like this now let's spend time understanding the slowly rising marginal cost curve slowly means these are flatter they don't rise steeply at a price of p1 the quantity is 2 units and a price of p1 again the quantity in form 2 is 5 units so you can clearly see that so you can clearly see that at price of p1 the total quantity in the market being supplied is 7 i have mapped here likewise at p2 you will have 4 plus 7 uh 4 plus 8 12 as has been mapped here so your market supply curve would look like this and you can clearly see this is also being a flatter curve so let's compare the observations here the observation is this is less elastic because this is steeper steeper means percentage change in quantity along the x axis is actually weaker than the percentage change in price along the y axis that is the meaning of elasticity being smaller so relatively uh inelastic means that this is relatively inelastic means that percentage change in quantity is lower than the percentage change in price so this happens primarily in short run so in short run when firms are too packed they do not have enough resources to expand in response to increased prices what will happen input prices will bid up and also they'll have to squeeze the quantity produced so this particular scenario of a steep market supply curve or a less responsive supply curve is usually a short run scenario because firms are capacity constrained and find costly to increase output how I would this scenario where my market supply curve is indeed flatter or i should say percentage change in quantity is greater than the percentage change in price that is this is relatively elastic is a scenario primarily in the long run so this happens mainly in long run when the firms can easily expand output in response to price increase hence i'll have two extreme cases now the two extreme cases will be one when my market supply curve ends up being perfectly inelastic so perfectly inelastic means when price is changing the quantity does not move at all and likewise a perfectly elastic case would mean when any price change leads to an infinite change in quantity so these are the two extreme cases and these were the intermediate cases for studying elasticity of market supply in particular all right uh, let let's have a look at this at one extreme is the case of perfectly inelastic supply which arises when the industries plant and equipment are so fully utilized that greater output if at all the firm has to achieve can be achieved only by building new plants as they will be in the long run so basically if you have to build up new plants that's only a possibility in the long run at the other extreme is a case of perfectly elastic supply which arises when marginal cost is constant that was the horizontal case so this this was a section where we studied that not every time coming at the market supply curve would be as easy because there are interchain effects so the chain effects um need be uh, taken into consideration while you're looking at the market supply as well thank you